Quantime. That's a good start, kid. Good start. I'm Joey Steele. Like the metal, not not like Theban or nothing. Although, I've been known to swipe a few things in my day. I like to think of myself as a, a modern day Robin Hood. Except for the fact that I don't wear no tights. And I don't exactly give my proceeds to the poor. Speaking of proceeds, how do you feel about acquiring some for yourself, kid? You're not gonna get queasy on me, are you? Cause I go tell you to toughen up, get yourself some tons of your choice of generic brand antacid, as well as eat a balanced diet and Keep up with a daily exercise regimen. But I, I'm getting off track. The job, the job. We're hitting up a couple of the largest financial institutions downtown. And to pull off a heist like this, we gotta have an all-star cast. So, let me introduce you to the fellas. First, we got Fat Mike. He's called Fat Mike, not because he's overweight or nothing, but because you take him to a nice steakhouse, he only eats the gristle on the steak and not any of the actual meat. Interesting character, but the guy knows his security systems. With him breaking into a federal building, it's like going to Chuck E. Cheese. Next up, we got Crazy Dave. This cat is allergic to every nut out there. Peanuts, cashews, almonds, you name it. We call him Crazy Dave because we couldn't call him Dave, the guy that's allergic to nuts. That's a terrible nickname. So we went with Crazy Dave because, you know, crazy is another name for nuts. Also, he's actually a little bit crazy. I once saw him pounding the nail using nothing but his hand. He told me he was using his hand mer, like hammer, but hand mer. He'll be hooking you up with all your tools and equipment and such. Finally, we got Red Tony. I know what you're thinking. It's something to do with blood, right? Nope. We call him Red Tony because he's easily sunburned. The guy has to basically drink sunscreen. He's our getaway driver. And boy, does he make 10 and 2 look like perfection. He is, however, very strict on the no talking on the cell phone when he's driving thing, though. It's made our getaway difficult more than a time and do. And you already know me. I'm the one in charge. So if you mess this up, I'm the one you'll be answering to. Bring, 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 bring. Huh, no answer. Not. Joey Steele does not have dropped calls. Everyone answers to me one way or another. Could be via snail mail, text message, or even a DM on Instagram. I try to be conducive to everyone's communication preferences. But enough of the chit chat. Why don't you head out and go meet the fellas? Security systems. They were deterrent for the average person. But for me, I think of them more as a game, like cat and mouse. Guess what? I'm the cat. There's nothing I can't get past. I could hack into literally anything with just my cell phone. The only thing stopping me, I forgot my passcode, so I can't actually use my cell phone. But no matter. Did uh, 
Did Joey tell you about the time I broke in the Costco in broad daylight? Sure, the store was open, but I didn't have a membership card and I still got in. Needless to say, I'm real good at what I do. Anyway, kid, you need to commit every detail of these security systems to memory. Otherwise, this operation is toast. And I don't like toast. I like my bread soft. Remember that. Hey, you kid. You ever use one of these? <laughs> yeah, we, we probably won't need one of these, but I just thought I'd show you, you know, let you know who you're working with. I mean, I got it all, kid. I got everything you can imagine and then some. You ask me for a screwdriver? I'll give you a socket wrench. You need some vice grips? Boom, soldering iron. You want some needle nose pliers? Well, here's a handsaw. I got it all. I got it all. I'm currently working on some night vision goggles that use echolocation. The only snag is that I haven't figured out how to talk to bats yet. But once I do, we'll be on our way. They'll tell me all their secrets about how they do that echolocation stuff. <laughs> Say, um, how many fingers you got there, kid? Ten? Perfect. You want to help me test out a bone saw? I started my driving career delivering pizzas. Then one day, I just started picking people up along the way. The people were better for conversation, but I, uh, preferred to eat the pizzas. That's a joke. I didn't eat the people. That thought never crossed my mind. Now, when you're in my car, I got a few ground rules. First, no eating. I don't want to hear, oh my tummy, I skipped breakfast. That's your problem. Second, no music. I like the silence. It allows me to think my thoughts. And finally, absolutely no passing gas in this vehicle. The smell works its way into the fibers of the seats. Can't get it out. It's in there for life. Now, a couple other details. Always buckle up. Always. For safety. Next, I always go the speed limit. No matter how many police are tailing us, it's the right thing to do. Finally, you should know that I'm an Uber driver on the side. So even if we're in the middle of a getaway, we may have to stop and pick someone up because I take my Uber rating very seriously. You got that? Well, that's the crew. You can tell why I'm the one in charge, huh? I like you, kid. And after going over your personality assessment, I think you'll be a good fit culturally with our crew. Now, I'll send you more details of the job, day of. But until then, Don't try anything stupid. Because I'm like Santa Claus. I'm coming to town. Wait, that that's not what I was thinking of. Because I'm like Santa Claus. I'm always watching.